This is Paul Slack. It's Good News Planet. I'm speaking with Eric Compton, a uh, renowned uh, golfer. Uh, people would say four if there was a uh, concern about a ball going towards somebody or so on and so forth. Eric is out here talking about Donate Life America, teams up with PGA Tour U, two-time heart transplant recipient, Eric Compton, to raise organ donation awareness. Okay, this is good. Play through with Eric. Uh, program uh, educate Americans and support donate life's 20 million in 2012 campaign thanks Eric how you doing today I'm doing great thank you for having me on okay so uh, this is a big four because somebody who needs an organ and cannot get an organ I have a friend who just got an organ after a year and uh, he basically saved his life I guess you could say this is serious stuff and it's wonderful for anybody to share their organs with people so tell us how you got involved and uh, and what what can we do here well i mean my main um focus today is you know talking about trying to get people to register and understand the importance of um, organ donation uh, obviously playing the tour and been playing professional golf for for some years now and um have been a recipient and <clears throat> just want to stress the um how grateful I am, you know, the fact that I've had, um, have had uh, uh, a family who has donated uh, their uh, daughter or son's heart so that I could, um, that I could continue living my life and continue living a, a dream. And, you know, I guess the message, it's, you know, it's, I live with every day that I have, um, you know, I have the, the gift of life and, and um you know it's it's tough because uh everyone is affected um through transplant whether it's a negative or a positive um you know my donor family feels and i'm i'm in contact with them that they that that um because they've been able to donate their son's life after a tragic accident that that he was able to um to live on and 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 help others you know one one organ uh donor uh can save up to to eight lives of uh, for recipients and um you know when i travel around and play the tour people ask me how to become an organ donor and it's as simple as talking to your loved ones um signing up at the dmv with your driver's license um we also have a website donatelife.net um through donate life america where you know we're trying to just basically stress the importance of sharing the gift of life uh, with your family and friends and just understanding uh, that that uh, it does work. You know, obviously I'm out here living a dream and playing on the tour, and, and uh, I have a family. I have a, a daughter who's three and a half, and because of um, of my uh, second chance at life, uh, I, we've been able to have a kid and and uh, and, and raise a family. Well, you obviously are appreciative, uh, I would say, uh, uh, respectful and, uh, and, and thankful to this family. That's, a, that's wonderful that you get the opportunity to actually speak with them. It says, currently here, why wait on the website? It says, why wait? Currently more than 110,000 men, women, and children are awaiting organ transplant to save their lives. So. Uh, is, is there, isn't there a national organ registry, or, or is there something like that? Do you know? Are you aware of? Well, the the national organ registry is actually through Donate Life America. Uh, Donate Life America. So, okay. You know, when you sign up to be an organ donor, it's different in each state. You know, and that's how you can through the website they 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 actually talk to you and how to how to how to go about doing that. Uh huh. Um, each state is. Um, <clears throat> Um, is different, you know, as far as how how they go about doing that, and and also um, for the re, uh, for the recipients and, and for those that are waiting, obviously go through uh, different hospitals and whatnot uh, around the around the country. So the word hope is big here, and uh, there's no doubt that uh, you you have uh, are a blessed soul if you. Uh, uh, are kind enough to to go and to to do this. Uh, um, so, one we do know that you can do this at the, the Department of Motor Vehicles. Is that is that a national situation that all motor vehicles all over the country can uh, can uh, make that available? 
Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, that, that is true. And, and they have a little on the corner of the driver's license. They have um, uh, organ donor. I have it on my driver's license. My family does. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's as easy as that. But also sharing it with your family members so that they know um, that that's something that um, that you want to do, you know. How did you know you needed a, I mean, did you have a heart attack? How, what what happened in your specific uh, situation? Well, I was, when I was nine years old, I had a virus that attacked my heart, and um, they knew I needed to have a heart transplant in order to keep going on, and um, I was very fortunate to have, have uh, been put on the list and, and be healthy enough to receive a heart, and, uh, and then... Uh, Sixteen years later, I was put on. I uh, I, I suffered from uh, from some rejection and had a heart attack, and uh, I was able to get back on a list for transplant and and then restarted over again and uh, got married and had a child with my wife. Uh, she obviously had the child, <laughs> and uh, and got my PGA Tour card and um, just been living living the dream. I mean, you know, you're uh, you're an athlete, and uh, athletes have a lot of physical uh, uh, need for endurance and so on and so forth. So, in addition to having the heart transplant, you physically uh, you work that heart, right? <laughs> you work I mean, your yeah, body. I mean, uh, yeah, you work your body, and out here traveling and walking around on the golf course, it's uh, it's good therapy for me. Um, so, you know, I take, try to take good care of myself, um, push myself to the max, just like everybody else. And, uh, it's, you know, getting up and trying to get the, get the job done. You know, I need to support a family and, and, uh, and, um, and chase this dream of, uh, of playing on the tour. Let me ask you a golf question. Why golf? How golf? How did it happen? And how'd you get so good? And can you show me how <laughs> to become? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, I was very lucky as a child to have kind of a decent hand and eye coordination and and um, you know, I I just love to be outside. I'd love to be uh in in sports, you know, whether it's baseball, football, soccer and golf was more of a rehabilitation sport for me after I had my uh transplant when I was 12. Um Hurricane Andrew blew our house away right around the same time in 1992. Everybody's heard of that storm and um uh, and uh, we we relocated to a golf course, and that was uh, a little condo over by uh, by Doral Golf Course, uh-huh. um, and uh, just started to play golf a lot, practice, and and uh, really turned all of my healing and focus into into playing golf. Beautiful. Well, that's really really super. Uh... Yeah, and congratulations. Obviously, you're super talented here. Have the power to donate life. Register as an organ. That's one way. I, another way. And tissue donor today. Um, donate a life. We have a website that we'll, uh, we're going to send people over to. Um, and uh, there's a lot of good news here. Um, anything else we should be telling, telling the audience here, Eric? Well, I mean, I just think that uh, what helped me as far as... Um, in life, trying to overcome some adversity and and uh, you know the, the importance of being positive and uh, being around positive people and people that believe in what you're doing and um, having goals and and dreams and um, and and then also you know it's one thing to talk about it but it's another thing to really get out and um, and, and 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 live your dream and doing it and and that takes a lot of hard work and dedication and. And uh, I'm a big believer that you can achieve anything if you if you um, just you gotta you gotta do it. You really gotta do it. And um, you know, there's a lot of people that suffer from uh, different um, adversities in their life. And and uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <clears throat> All right. Well, we will for, we want to thank uh, uh, Genetech, member of the Roche uh, Group, for uh, helping to make this uh, campaign uh, possible. Uh, we love good corporate citizenship. And then, last question then for you, Eric, is what's good news for you? Well, I mean, good news is good news is good news. I guess I think, um, uh, like I said, being around positive people, being around uh, people who uh, 
who love life and uh, want to want to excel in life, um, and uh, people who are interested in helping other people. I mean, that's basically what this campaign is all about: donating life, passing it forward. So that's good news. I couldn't agree with you more. Every single one that does it. Uh to be on good news and we should be celebrating them it's a beautiful 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 thing eric thanks so much for coming out and uh and and sharing your good news as you are here right now um and you're the you as you say a family that's gonna pay it or play it or however forward uh yourself so you're you're you're, you're serious thanks so much eric for sharing thank you for having me on i appreciate it sure take care good bye-bye okay bye-bye